Hi everyone, my name is Ashley and I'm from the Oakland University Writing Center. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to create and share a Google Doc. As you can see here on the screen, we have created a little cheat sheet or help document for you for Google Drive and Google Meet. Uh, later, there'll be another video on navigating Google Meet, but today we're going to look at how to create and share a Google Doc with your consultant. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your OU email and open that up. Uh, Oakland University's email platform is through Gmail, so you have access to the Google Suite, which is your, your docs, your sheets, your forms, and Google Meet. So we're going to go there really quick. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a grid of dots. You're going to click on that and click on the blue docs icon. Now you can see that there are different options at the top here as far as templates you can choose, but the easiest thing for us is to click on the blank template. A new screen will pop up just like you would when a Word document opens up and is here where you're going to copy and paste your text that you want the consultant to look at. This is what you'll be working off for your appointment today. So you're going to copy and paste your text into here. And then the next thing you're going to do is up here, you may have to drop down to show menus, but up here you have to click on share. Again, you may be asked to name it before sharing. That's fine. So today we're just going to name it our test document. Click Save. And then it will prompt you to send it to your consultant. Now your consultant will share with you through the chat or through a separate email on which email they would like you to send it to. So you're just going to either copy and paste or type that into here. Right now, for the sake of today's video, I'm just going to share it with the Oakland University Writing Center. And on here, you'll see we got a few different options. You can send them a message. You don't have to because um, they'll be ready for the appointment for you. Now, we also have another option here, a little drop down window. It says editor is the default, but you can see that we have the option for viewer, commenter, or editor. And you want to keep it checked or check the editor option because then your consultant can add comments or suggestions to the document and both of you will be able to see it during the appointment. So once you're done with all that, you just click send and it will be sent to their email. Now they'll get that link, they'll open it up and you can go over it together with your document. Now all the changes that be made in that document will stay in that document. However, we also recommend that you uh, download the document as a Word document and then you can save it onto your computer just in case something happens you always have a backup. Now feel free to contact us with any questions you may have. We have a reception Zoom room that you can access. We have a help chat or you can email us at ouwc at oakland.edu. Again our email is ouwc at oakland.edu. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.